Lesson 11.1e, going further, writing a multi-step algebraic equation. We can solve real-world problems by writing an equation. We can match parts of an equation to a real-world situation. Our equation can help us determine the cost of an item or compare costs between items. Bob wants to rent a post hole digger so he can build a fence around his backyard. And there's two home improvement stores he can rent from. So he can rent it from store A or store B. Store A charges $80 per day. Store B charges $85 per day or $75 per day if rented for five or more days. So we can write an equation for each scenario. We're going to let D equal days and C equal cost. For store A, we don't know how many days he's going to rent it, so we don't know the cost. But we can write 80 times D for days is equal to the cost. For store B, if he rents it from one to four days, it's going to be $85 times the number of days, and that will equal the cost. For store B, if he rents it for five or more days, it's going to be $75 times the number of days, and that will equal the cost. We multiply the daily fee by the number of days it's rented to find the cost. An air conditioning repair company charges $125 per hour plus a one-time service fee of $75. How much will it cost to repair an air conditioner from this company? So we're going to let H equal the hours and C equal the cost. We have the service fee, that's a one-time service fee, plus the hourly rate that he charges, $125, times the number of hours worked. We don't know how many hours he's going to take or she's going to take to repair the air conditioner, so we just put an H. And that's going to equal C, the cost. So we have 75 plus 125 H for multiplying the price per hour times the number of hours, and that equals the cost. The cost is going to depend on the number of hours. If the air conditioning repair person works zero hours, well, then the cost is zero. And if they work one hour, then the cost is $200. We have 125 times 1, which is 125, plus 75, that's 200. And if they work 2 hours, the cost will be $325. If they work 3 hours, it will be 450 And we can actually make a table of values for the hours and the cost. If the hours are 0, the cost is 0. If the hours are 1, the cost is 200 If the hours are 2, the cost is 325 if the hours are 3, the cost is 450 And we could keep going. We could make this table of values longer for 4 hours, 5 hours, and so on. As the hours change, the cost changes. Tickets for a county fair are $10 per adult, $6 per child, that is 12 and under, and $8 per senior. Write an equation that will represent the ticket sales for one day. We have the price per adult times the number of adults, and we're going to add that to the price per child times the number of children. We're going to add that to the price per senior times the number of seniors, and that will give us the total sales. So we can let A equal adults, C equal children, S equals seniors, and T equal total sales. It's $10 per adult, so we can write 10A. We're going to add it to the price per child, 6, times the number of children, C. We're going to add that to the price for seniors times the number of seniors, and that's going to equal T, the total sales. We have our equation. Depending on what the number of adults, number of children, and number of seniors are is going to depend on what the total sales will be. A craft show charges an entrance fee of $5 per person. One vendor is selling homemade jam for $3 per jar. Calculate the amount spent at the craft fair for four people if they all buy jars of jam. So we have the number of people, that's four. We're going to multiply that by the entrance fee per person, that's $5, plus 
the cost per jam, they're $3 each, the number of jam each purchased, we don't know how many jars they each bought, so we're just going to have J for jam. And that's going to equal the amount spent by all. And because we don't know how many jars they each bought, we just have a J here, so our equation is going to be 4 times 5 plus 3J, and that will equal A. So A will represent the total amount spent. Without knowing how many jars they each bought, we don't know what A is equal to. And depending on what this number is, is going to affect this number. Remember to look for clue words within a word problem that will tell us which operation to use. $10 per adult tells us to multiply $10 by the number of adults. For three people tells us to multiply by three. And you can see the clue words and word problems video that I'm going to have linked in the description of this video to help you. Our next lesson, 11.2a, is getting ready addition equations. So this is a little section, it's a couple pages, before the actual 11.2, but it's going to be very helpful. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope you'll join me for the next lesson. Bye.